Have you ever wondered whether you're a good person or not? Probably not, but today you're gonna find out. So we're playing Neil.Fun's Absurd Trolley Game. So it's basically a spin on the trolley problem, which is pretty cool. There's like 25 levels and they get increasingly more difficult on like a moral basis. So let's see it. All right, so level one is the original. So a trolley's heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person instead. What do you do? So in this situation, I'm always on board fate. I feel like fate wants to claim five people's lives, and honestly, I'm okay with that. So I would do nothing. Oh well. Now there's four people. So a trolley's heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing four people instead. Well, considering I just killed five people over one, I'll still do it over four. So do nothing. Because now it gets a bit iffy. Right, so now a trolley's heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it, or your life savings gets destroyed. Hmm. What's my net worth? Honestly, not that high. Do I really care about those five people? Like, let's be real. I don't actually care about those five people. I've never met them. They could be like all... I would probably... I would save them. I wouldn't... Eh, I guess I'm a good person. All right, let's pull the lever. If I lose my money. That's fine. A trolley's heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it, sacrificing yourself instead. Obviously, I'm not going to kill myself. I would never kill myself. Let's do nothing. Is it selfish to do this? Let's see. 60% of people agree. So 40% of people, I guess, are... A trolley's heading towards five people. You can pull the lever, but then the original copy of the Mona Lisa will be destroyed. Personally, I don't care at all about the Mona Lisa. It reminds me of Glass Onion, Knives Out, that movie. How, like, they... Uh, I don't want to spoil anything. But I would definitely pull the lever. All right, so 78% of people agree. How are 22% of people against that? Now a trolley's heading towards a rich man. The rich man offers you $500,000 to pull the lever? I think the fact he's trying to bribe me and thinks he could pay me off for $500,000 makes me just want to kill him directly. And I could just rob him after. He's dead, right? I'm assuming he has the cash, or maybe I could just get, like, his debit card. Let's do nothing. I think I'd get way more money than $500,000 if he dies, right? Do nothing. A trolley's heading towards five lobsters. You can pull the lever to divert it, running over a cat instead. Lobsters or cat? Well... I was just in Portland, Maine, and I'm pretty sure I had a lobster for every meal, so I probably ate five lobsters. I paid to kill five lobsters. Do nothing. Okay, assuming a lot of people agree, 85%. So 15% disagree. I guess they're dog lovers. Probably heading towards five people who are sleeping and they won't feel pain. You can pull the lever to divert it, running over someone who's wide awake instead. I think in this situation, it's the original trolley problem, and they're trying to, like, make it more acceptable to let the five people die but if we're operating off of my like base assumption it's that fate should be playing out and so i'd kill these people anyways and now it's just all the more better they won't feel pain so do nothing now a trolley's heading towards five people but they tied themselves to the track they deserve it you can pull the lever to divert it killing one person who accidentally tripped i don't know what's worse like you tied yourself voluntarily or you accidentally tripped and somehow got tied up I think the guy who accidentally tripped and got tied up, I hate to say it, but he might deserve to go. Let's pull the lever here. How do you accidentally trip and then tie yourself to a train track? Trolley's heading towards five people. The lever just speeds up the trolley, which might make it less painful. I like that they use the word might. Like, we're not positive. Because if it was, like, definite, then yeah, I'd obviously just, like, let them die. But it might? I mean, I'd still let them go. Because, again, like, I would just let fate play out. Let's, uh, let, let's do nothing. I don't even think it went faster. 30% of people agree. Now a trolley's heading towards one guy. You can pull the lever to divert it, but then your Amazon package will be late. Oh my gosh, I have a couple things coming in too. Do I need them? I kind of need them. I have a loofah coming in and I'm getting washed like tonight. I guess I could survive. This guy better like give me like 20 bucks or maybe he'll give me like a prime membership as like a reward. So maybe it equals out. I'd pull the lever. All right, I guess I'll take the inconvenience. Now it's heading towards your best friends. You can pull it or you kill five strangers instead. Okay, why would I ever kill my best friend? I think you just pull the lever every single time here, right? I'd pull the lever. You owe me though. You can pull the lever to divert it, killing one person instead. At least that's what you think is happening. You forgot your glasses and you can't see that well. Oh no, so it's the trolley problem, but we're unsure. I'd do nothing. Now there's a trolley heading towards one of your first cousins. You can pull the lever, killing three of your second cousins instead. I don't even know who my second cousins are. How do you become a second cousin? 
Is there like a, an application for that? Like who are your second cousins? Is it your cousin's cousins? Because if that's the case, then I don't even know who those people are. I guess I pull the lever. Age. All right, so a trolley's heading towards five elderly people. You can pull the lever to divert it, running over a baby instead. Ugh. Five elderly people. Well, how old are they? By the looks of it, they look like maybe 70. I'd say they're like 75. Let's just assume they're that. So they have about what? Eight years to live if life expectancy is 83. Eight times five is 40, and the baby will outlive 40. So from an expected value perspective, it makes sense to save the baby. But... All right, Trolley's barreling towards five identical clones of you. You can pull the lever, sacrificing yourself instead. What do you do? Well, if they're clones of me from like a different dimension, they're not actually me. And I only really care about myself in this situation, right? So I just kill the clones. Let's do nothing. They're clones. 86% agree, okay. Mystery box time. A trolley's heading towards a mystery box with a 50% chance of containing two people. You can pull the lever hitting a mystery box with a 10% chance of 10 people. I think I'd want to spread out the odds. I know the expected value is equal, but I think I'd want to like roulette it a little bit, right? Like 10 bullets in the chamber and just like see who it is. Because if you lose a, a one in 10, I feel like you deserve to die. Given if you like you had to die. Ooh, yeah, I'd pull the lever. Looks like most people agree, okay. So, so far still a good person. Now there's a trolley heading towards five sentient robots. Okay, or you could kill a human. I personally don't care about robots at all. Like Sophie, that AI bot. Sophie was like the first robot, I'm pretty sure. I would kill these sentient robots. What are they gonna do about it? Yeah, so let's do nothing. Let's run him over. 84% of people have agree. Okay, wow, that's a lot. Don't show that to chat GPT. Trolley's heading towards three empty trolleys worth 900,000. You can pull it hitting one empty trolley worth 300,000. So do, do I want to just like inflict more economic damage? I think it was Milton Friedman who said, there's no such thing as destroyed monetary value. And so whenever you have a situation where you're destructing, you're basically creating jobs. So I think I'd be good for the community if I killed more trolleys or if I broke more trolleys. I guess I would do nothing then. Following that logic. People agree? No. For some reason, people want to conserve, but they're not thinking the bigger picture. I'm now reincarnated, who will eventually be reincarnated as every person in this trolley problem. Okay, so I'm not getting it. So, this is me, and it's always been me, and it will continue to be me, so I'd want to kill less of me. Oh, but then it goes against. That means I have to pull the lever. And I haven't really pulled the lever too much. All right, well, considering only one of me's would survive if I kill everybody, that seems to be the truest option, because then it's just me who survives. See you guys. 46% agree. Okay, that was kind of a tough one. I don't think I'm smart enough to understand that. Trolley's heading towards nothing, but you kind of want to prank the trolley driver. What do you do? Do I commit the harmless prank? Yeah, why not? Right? He's probably having, like, a slow day. You want to, like, get his adrenaline up? No, Let's no, put the no, lever. No, 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 no. No harm, no foul. 61% agree. Trolley's heading towards a good citizen. You can pull the lever to divert it, running over someone who litters instead. Ah, uh, because littering's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, it's pretty bad, right, to ruin your environment around you. But do they deserve to be dead? See ya. Streets cleaned up. Due to construction error, a trolley stuck in an eternal loop. If you pull the lever, the trolley will explode. If you don't, the trolley and its passengers will go in circles for eternity. So I could either end their misery right now, or I could banish them to the trolley realm for eternity by just doing nothing. I think it would be like an interesting experiment to see what happens to people when they're stuck in a trolley for like 80 years. I guess we do nothing, right? Because I don't want to be like culpable of murder. I don't want to have that on my hands. Because if I do this, I, like, there's really no good reason for me to do this. Do nothing. People agree with this? 46% agree. So 54% of people would voluntarily slaughter these people. Heading towards my worst enemy. I can pull the lever to save them, or I could do nothing and no one will ever know. Who's my worst enemy? Um, I don't know if I have a worst enemy. I have a couple enemies, but they're all like in my mind. Like, they're not actual people. 
Like, you know who I really don't like? The brawny guy. I also don't like Mr. Clean, but I wouldn't- I don't think I'd want them dead. I think I'd probably pull the lever. There's no- no good reason. I can't justify it, right? So let's just pull it. You're welcome. 52% of people agree. Wow. Human nature's ugly. Trolley's heading towards a person and will lower their lifespan by 50 years. Or you could pull the lever to divert the trolley and lower the lifespan of five people by 10 years each. So that guy will basically die at 30, or they'll die at like 70. I have to let him get to his 40s so he has his midlife crisis, so I'd probably pull the lever. Those people, are you really going to miss like 80 versus 70? Probably not. Trolley's heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it, sending the trolley into the future to kill five people a hundred years from now. Five people a hundred years from now. Well, I'll be dead. So there's no like legal issues with what I'm doing because I can't be tried. And a hundred years from now, maybe I'm killing like sentient AI or something, which might be a good thing. So I might be doing the world a favor and I get to save them in the meantime. So yeah, I'd pull the lever. Cool. Now it's free will. Oh no, the trolley problem's playing out. Do you actually have a choice, or has everything been predetermined since the universe began? I think in this situation, I have a choice. I believe in free will. I can do whatever I want. I could end this video right now.